Welcome back to ABC 10 Morning News. Uh, tomorrow, the Kings start the road to the playoffs against those Warriors. And of course, Kings merchandise in high demand right now. Local creatives are using their talents to keep the sack pride alive. Creative Contents is a custom t-shirt and printing shop that provides everything from graphic design to embroidery. And now it's getting a lot of requests for Kings merch. So if you want to learn more about their products, you can go to abc10.com slash links. And then speaking of good business this morning, several others are capitalizing on the King's mania, and this weekend is sure to be a busy one. Okay, that's especially true if you're trying to hold a grand opening of your business the same weekend as the Kings and Warriors are in the same city, like the same plaza. Our own Marcus Allen is there, beautiful sunrise there, Mark, behind you on a cool morning. So downtown Commons has a new business. Tell us about it. Yeah, it has a new business that really won the lottery. Think about opening up on this weekend when the Kings are at their fullest hype as we get it all underway. Feel the roar of the cash flow. Take a look. Feel the roar. No one's feeling it quite like the re-energized downtown businesses, specifically those in the downtown common area, meta branded as Doco. One store in particular winning the lottery, it's Sugar, an everything candy store having its grand opening weekend coincide with playoff tip-off. <laughs> oh, it is so exciting. We, it's going to be amazing just having just tons of people in here shopping, buying, eating. It'll be great. I caught up with Kings President of Operations, John Reinhardt, experiencing the busiest, albeit most exciting That's time amazing. of his life. So many plates spinning. How do you do you right now? So many things going on all at the same time. Yeah, you know, it's just a lot of fun. You know, we try to enjoy the moment and just make sure that we are creating those experiences for everybody here in Sacramento. It's just a great gathering place to be around Golden One Center, being around Doco. It's a great time to be a Kings fan, and we know our Kings fan have, have, have enjoyed this you know, for many, many years. So right now we're, we're just enjoying it with them. It's exciting and uh, we're looking forward to the weekend. Looking forward to the weekend indeed. John is pumped up. That guy lives, eats, and breathes Kings. Seeing him yesterday, he was like a kid. No pun, like a kid in a candy store. It's Sugar, not the only business opening up. I'm gonna have Don step over. They are power washing getting ready to open the door to lids. A lot of people are exciting about that. You want to get your King's gear on, you can. It's Sugar way across the way over there. If you look over here, there is Polanco, where I'm told they are serving uh, Purple Rain, which is a King's adult beverage. Uh, drink as many as you want. Just make sure you're not drinking and driving. And also, Rob, yes, double confirmed, they are stocked up on the Purple Churro. churro. So you can light the beam, you can eat the beam. Back to you. Purple churros. It sounds like it's eggplant or something. All right, that's Mark S. Allen. It's also good to see John Reinhardt of the Kings. John has survived many regime changes there mm -hmm. uh, of the Kings, and uh, he's a good guy, and that's why he's kept, kept it going. Yeah, so award season in the NBA is looming, and the Kings already getting some significant recognition. That starts with the head coach, Mike Brown, being voted National Basketball Coaches Association Coach of the Year by his fellow coaches. And listen to the reaction. It means a lot, you know, anytime uh, your peers step up and give you recognition because that's who you're competing against, you know, and they, there's, oh, there's excellent coaches, excellent staffs, excellent organizations because it's, yes, my name is quote unquote on it this year, but it's not all about me. It's a testament of where this organization is. Good to see that the, the players and the coach are learning it all yeah. together at the same time. A lot of back slapping there. Now, the Sacramento Republic FC, they know a thing or two about the playoffs, winning the USL Championship Cup in 2014. And different members of the organization sent some personal messages to the Kings. Take a listen. My friends from Sacramento Kings, uh, this is Rodrigo Lopez. Uh, I want to wish you guys the best of luck these playoffs. I know the whole city is rooting for you guys. Everyone's behind you guys. Good luck. Go kill it. I uh, just want to wish Sacramento Kings good luck as they embark on their playoff journey um, this weekend. Um, extremely, extremely proud to see the city get behind and hopefully we can bring a result against the Warriors. And we know Sac Republic FC pushing back kickoff time on Saturday to 8 o'clock just so people can get out there and support the Kings. Everybody's all in on this one. A reminder for you, our coverage starts at 4.30 tomorrow afternoon with a special edition of the ABC 10 News. Then ABC's game coverage starts at 5. 
with the Kings and Warriors tipping off shortly after 5.30. That will be followed by a special edition of the ABC 10 News with a full recap and post-game show with fan reaction and all. That all starts tomorrow afternoon at 4.30, only right here on ABC 10. If you want to see this again, you can see it on our website right now. But the playoff party kicks off tonight. We're going to have live coverage on ABC 10 News at 5 o'clock. That's when the fan rally begins, and the event will feature remarks by the Kings. There's going to be live music, food, much more. The rally marks the start of Kings Playoffs Playground at Ali Yusefi Square near K and 7th Streets. Fans can go out and test their basketball skills, get action figures of themselves and Kings gear, and a whole lot more. It'll be open from noon to 8 on game day.